How's it going YouTube? Pokemon Hatch here, back with another video. So this is part three of uh, many videos. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to get through all this. Um, maybe like eight or nine videos. But I'm opening up six tins of uh, Hidden Fates each video. Um, we've been doing the Raichu tins. So I am on... I've done two openings so far of, uh, of 12. So two openings of six actually, so 12 so far. So this is the final one of Raichu. So we're doing all of Raichu tins and we're gonna do like 18 Gyarados tins. Then either 12 or 18 Charizard ones. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep a bunch of Charizard ones sealed or not. We'll see how we're doing. If uh, I'm satisfied with the pools, I might just uh, cut it off right then and there and be like, okay, I'm done. Honestly, if I pull, a, um, if I pull one shiny Charizard, I might just say, okay, I'm done anyway. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes out. But uh, I pretty much, I should have checked before I started this video. If you watch the other two videos, I actually pulled two of the like seven cards that I need to complete the shiny vault set that I've uh, all pulled by my hand. Only took a thousand packs, I think. But I'm missing Hiker, um, Tapu Finney, and Leafeon, and I can't recall off the top of my head, but we did pull uh, Tapu Lele and Magneton, who were two of the ones that we were missing from like the 800 or so packs that I've done so far of Hidden Fate. So that was really cool. And I'm gonna, I'll do a recap of um, the full uh, Raichu openings, all three at the end of this, so we can kind of see about what you can expect from 18 tins. Um, since I got these for $9.99 each on Black Friday, or realistically, I got them Thanksgiving Day, because um, they actually went on sale like the day before Thanksgiving online. It was really weird. And it was posted in the Pokemon Deals subreddit. And I was like, all right, 10 bucks a 10, I gotta do that. So that was just too good to pass up. Um, as I've said in other videos, you got to figure I send all my bulk away to I buy Pokemon and they buy uh, GX's for two dollars. So every one of these promos I can send to them for two dollars. So I'm getting these tins for like eight bucks a piece. Can't beat that. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this first stack. Um, if you've watched these videos before, you kind of know how I do it. I just kind of go through it and we just look for the hits and I just stack things as I go because I sort stuff for bulk later on as I'm doing this. And I give you guys the code cards. So hopefully someone got some good stuff out of that. Now the last two openings I actually had, um, the first opening was really good. I got two gold cards and um, five shiny full RGXs. And then the next six tins, oh, looks like we got something here. Is that, uh, who is that? Oh, Neuvern, okay, cool. Haven't seen him in a while. That's a good pull. Dragon Pokemon. Gotta love the Dragon Pokemons. Yes. So um, I'm trying to get to the point where I can guess them before I actually just by seeing, you know, but it's kind of cheating if you see the stage, but I always try to uh, guess it right before I see the stage, but unfortunately I saw that one. Um, but what was I talking about? I can't even remember now. So, um, yeah. So, oh, a gibble. All right. Yeah. See, the hits just keep coming. So I can't even really talk as I'm doing this. It's just so quick to go through it and all the hits. But yeah, the first one, I ended up with like five shiny full art GXs and uh, two gold cards and like four or five shiny regulars. I mean, it was absolutely just crazy opening. And then if you saw the second one, it was one shiny full art and like six shiny regular cards and like a rainbow rare and that was it but the thing that's been kind of lacking that i haven't really seen a lot of is the uh and i apologize if you're not if you couldn't see that let me see the camera get that out a little bit so okay hopefully that's better um i wasn't really paying attention to the uh camera action here i was just kind of talking um so there's another code card and actually let me see if i can get that out a little further move this stuff out okay so um yeah the next opening not near as good and we got a charmeleon shiny all right this is probably like the seventh or eighth time i've pulled this one 
the centering does not look that great so this is probably going to go in just the collection somewhere i'll figure out what to do with it maybe i'll get rid of it maybe i'll trade it um maybe i'll go out to pokemon uh, trades or something like that or put it out on my ebay store or something like that we'll see which speaking of ebay stores you know there's a link in the description usually or whatever on my website that shows um my ebay uh ebay listings i don't have an ebay store but i'm going to keep saying store for some reason because it just sounds better um and then follow me on instagram because a lot of times i'll post pictures of things that i've gotten in my collection and everything mostly like psa cards and things like that or just cool stuff that i kind of like taking pictures of and put it on instagram i'm not much of a social media person anymore with like facebook and things like that because it kind of annoys me but i like instagram because i can just kind of post pictures and follow um other people in pokemon you know like youtubers and stuff like that and other collectors and see what they're collecting and things like that and it's kind of kind of fun to see that what other people are doing so let's uh let's just start a new stack over here i'm tired of um reaching over trying to keep these cards in the camera here there's a reverse mew so that's cool it looks like we started off with a couple good hits and then we've just kind of slowed down now not good we need to pick it back up a little bit because this is not not looking so good i just guess that that first opening just really really spoiled me all right let's get into this again we got a reverse hollow with a clefable non-holographic it looks like we might have some birds here those rainbow birds i love having them because i usually will oh and a shiny guzzlord so a two for one pack which i've seen quite a bit of those two for one packs in these openings it seems wish i could see the camera better I, I have a feeling like a lot of this stuff has been like off camera so i apologize for that i'm just kind of trying to go through this as fast as i possibly can maybe i need to kind of adjust the camera up a little bit so okay hopefully that stays better all right as I'm just kind of through the end of this so yeah um, oops I messed up my stack so let me correct this real quick because my OCD is gonna not let me do that so okay there's another code card and let's stack our bulk over here and get into these next packs and throw these codes away because nobody needs them anymore because y'all just scanned them so yeah everybody getting ready for Christmas doing all your Christmas shopping done I have almost finished all of mine got all my nieces and nep nephews taken care of except my oldest niece she's 20 so it kind of kind of hard to shop for her sometimes so I just usually get her she just wants like Amazon gift cards or something like that so not a bad deal there so that's pretty cool getting ready for um, some much needed time with family taking a whole week off of work so that'll be fun i just bought a nintendo switch and actually ended up um buying pokemon uh shield or sword no i bought sword um i bought sword i started playing it a little bit haven't had a chance and then i was going to play it a lot tonight and then these all came in in the mail so i was like okay i gotta open up pokemon cards pokemon uh, game you're just gonna have to wait and there's like a new event in Pokemon Go that I want to play too. It's just too much Pokemon stuff. Oh, you can't have too much Pokemon stuff, right? That's for sure. All right. All right. One more pack to open up and then we'll get into this. And hopefully we get some good hits. Let's get that shiny Charizard. I did actually pull another shiny Mew in a video that I recorded and somehow it uh, the recorder messed up or something. I opened up two more ultra premium collections and a, um, and a great ball that I was keeping sealed and it, uh, it got um, damaged somehow in the box. So I was like, okay, I'll open it up. And I ended up getting a Mewtwo in it, so. I know that, that see I do stuff like that it looks like we got is that a which one is it is that Galissapod again it is wow okay wow I kind of went ahead there didn't I um there's another code card so we got we're gonna we're gonna do that again all right we got Galissapod for the second time in this opening 
keep on getting Galissa Pod, and I cannot pull a Leafy on, which I really would like to have because I'm missing that one. And a Brox Training Hollow. I don't know why I haven't just been stacking the uh, bulk over here. I'm a dumb and dumb. So, okay, let's see. Let's, uh, oh, a Magnemite. We have pulled this card so many times. I'm not kidding. I've probably pulled this thing eight or nine times, maybe even 10 times. And it's funny because the Magneton I only pulled once. And that was in the uh, two openings, or was it last opening? Something like that. Um, finally pulled that one. Uh, which is crazy because I pulled like eight or nine of those other ones. It's just the luck in this set is just kind of all over the place. Like, I mean, there's shiny full art GXs that I haven't pulled. Um, luckily, shiny Charizard wasn't one of them as I pulled two of them. But like, I haven't pulled a Leafy on. I mean, I could be like uh, with a YouTuber that I watch Rhyme Style. If you don't watch him, check him out. And he said he pulled like a thousand packs, has not pulled a shiny Charizard. I, I feel bad for him. I'm just like, dude, that's got to suck. And that's like all he wants is that shiny Charizard. If you watch his videos, it's just, where's the Charizard? Where's the Charizard? I, like every time I see a video with him, I'm just like, I just want him to pull it so bad because I feel bad for him. I'm just like, gosh, you got these people that buy just a couple of packs and get two shiny Charizards. Here he goes, to like a thousand packs. Can't even get it. So, ooh, uh, Mewtwo GX. Nice. It's always a good card to get. Um, so yeah, uh, I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, thousand packs and there's cards in the shiny vault that I haven't pulled yet, but I'm just lucky enough where like I've pulled like five of the Mewtwo's and like, I think six or seven Ho-Oh shiny full arts. I'm not kidding. I mean, if you've watched these videos, you've seen, I pull that card all the time. And it's the card that, oh, a shiny Eevee, nice. And that's the card that's like right beside, I think, Charizard in the set. So I kind of have this theory that, you know, a lot of times um, you might get like a couple ETBs in a case and a lot of the cards in the set will be sequential right there. Because I've actually had that happen a lot um, where I got a lot of the shiny vault that were um, sequentially numbered in the same case of etbs and uh yeah it was kind of it's kind of interesting how that kind of plays out Lou, it looks like we got a buzz wolf i remember the first time i got him i think i called him buzz wolf or something like that i was like wait a second that's not right and we got a missy's water command let's see if we can get one more shiny full art would be nice to kind of save this opening um because honestly this has not been too good we've gotten a lot of shiny regulars but not not really getting very many shiny full arts it was like that first opening was just all the shiny full arts and after that it's just been kind of bleh. so that's just the way it goes sometimes all right last pack i'm gonna stop saying last pack magic because um it just never seems to be magic it's always a reverse hollow. I think it has been for a while. Oh, and we got a GX of Moltres, Aptos, and Articunus, so that's kind of cool. I've actually pulled more Rainbow and Full Arts than this, I think. So, yeah, that's crazy. Um, oops, let's put this hollow over here. And there's some bulk. And then let's go through all of the Raichu pulls. So, this would be 18 tins. And let me actually sort this real quick. Um, so we got one, two, yeah. So oh, we actually got two shiny floors this time. That's not too bad. I didn't even, I didn't even, uh, I forgot about that. Okay, that's not bad. Two gold. All right. Sorry about this. I will get. It. All right. So eighteen tens. We got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen shiny regular cards and no duplicates of those. I do not believe so. So that's pretty awesome. Sixteen of those. So an average of almost one per ten with eighteen tens, obviously. Um, then we got two shine of uh, the GX, Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno. And then we got two rainbows of Moltres, Aptos, and Articuno. So that's pretty cool. 
And then we got, actually, this is where the big one was. Oh, wait, let's go through this first. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shiny full arts. None of the ones that we didn't already pull that we needed for our collection, but that's pretty.